hand wave it down here, just kind of put myself in some water. Still some zombies around. This is what I'm talking about. I got all these overhanging structures here. It would be nice to have an easier way to get in and out of here. Because I always get lost. I also need to go back through this and double check the lighting. First off, the lighting is very sloppy in most areas. And secondly, uh, as a result of that, it's wasteful in some areas and inadequate in others. Alright, so there's down the lava level. I haven't been down this way. Let's, let's take a chance on this. Okay. this up. Good. Well, that looks like a whole lot of, uh, hey, diamond. Sure, I always have a way out. So that when shit goes down, and uh, shit will go down, get out of here quickly. Taste my steel, Zombo Jumbo. I guess it's just iron. Obsidian down there. Alright, let's get this quick. Just the one. You cheap diamond bastard. Unless... I'm gonna drown down here. Yeah, you know, sometimes if you dig areas out around diamond, you'll find some more. Sometimes. Doesn't look like I would be so lucky today. If I keep messing around here, I'm going to drown. So let's just keep on moving. Got some redstone down here. That's cool. Nice big area. Gravel up there. I don't like that. Oh! Come on down! Come on, skeleton. No, I see you up there. No, no, you come down here. Come down here and eat it. Can't look at him. <laughs> They'd be waiting for me. Oh no, I looked at him! The easiest Enderman fight ever. Usually these guys are hopping just all over the damn place. Cinder pearls are useful though. Uh, aside from allowing you to uh, teleport distances, they uh, are also used to find the uh, ender portals, the end portals to take you to the end. Looks like I'm in uh, some kind of ravine here. Now let's just take a minute. Where are you going to go? That's right. Nowhere. Why did they change that? Because they're not really reporting as much as they used to. There's a creeper back that way. Ineffectual zombie this way. Whole lot of zombies. That was my only arrow. Come at me. Come on. Yes, explode in the water. In the water. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
Oh, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing but a punk. Someone's swimming over there. That's fine. I'm going this way. I always gotta check the uh, water. Make sure you're not passing anything up. Okay, little torches here. Well, that's fine. So I will just make some more. Not that many though. This many. This many torches. All right. Anything really super cool that way? Let's see some. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see some iron. That's not uh, such a big deal. And it's so hot. Love is though, so I'm not gonna risk it. Hey, no. <laughs> what am I going to do here? Come on, then. Come on. If I get him to explode in the water, he won't blow up the area. Or I'll just kill him straight out. That works. I'm wondering. These guys haven't become somewhat less of a threat. Or if I'm just good enough not to worry. Anytime updates come out, I'm always I notice things like that that I don't really know if there are changes or not. And honestly it's hard to tell because they only Mojang only actually uh, references a couple specific uh, updates. And there's always uh, several more updates you just kind of left to discover on your own. So, uh, you know, you might find something that might be part of an update, or you might just think it's part of an update. Never can tell. More lava. It's a pretty long ranging area here. Cobbly stone. <laughs> well, I shouldn't laugh. I can already hear something else walking. Should never stop to gloat because that's when you get shot in the junk. Ow! This is up anyway, just to be, just to be safe. And this just goes to lava. Lava up there. And down there. Iron. Mm, might want to go down there. Oop. Jump. Yes. Well, I don't want to climb up the lava rope 
yet, so let's head back this way. This makes me nervous. There's all these ledges up there. And I know stuff is going to spawn up there. It's going to drop right down on me. And... The sound of this water is overpowering my ears. Leaving me defenseless. Stop for a moment to pick up some of the sweet gold. Yeah. Well, I got enough gold I can make myself a, uh, a watch. Hey, more gold! Speak of the devil. Georgia. So I'm told. Make myself a fiddle. Well, plenty of iron. Single diamond out of it. Just floating on the surface. No slimes as of yet. I got some more area that away. I can probably explore. This is, uh, I don't imagine I'll ever get this place lit up enough for it to not be a threat because it would require getting all up in that place or flying it down. I just don't want to do it. I don't, I don't feel like it. That's excessive. I don't need every area of this game to be 100% safe. Um, yeah, I just don't. You know, because I'm not going to be hanging out down here all the time. And, uh, you know, it'd be kind of neat you know, just to come down here anyway. Knowing that it's risky. Knowing that it's dangerous. It adds an element of unpredictability. Which is always nice. So you don't want things to get dull. You just make everything safe. There's no risk. You just just kind of sucks the life out of this game a little bit. It's like uh, multiplayer is playing on a multiplayer server, and uh, we we're playing around with some stuff, and so the uh, the guy who runs the server started making everyone op, which lets them spawn items in. And uh, it's fun for a while, but if you stick at that for too long, you know, you lose the uh, the exploration, um, the challenge of managing your resources and finding resources. Um, that's a lot of the fun for me. Grab some of this while I'm here. Not that it is at all essential or useful for much. I should just be grabbing all this iron. It is really crazy looking. Anyway, that's just my view. Um, some floor fine with it, and I guess if you're build building something really big and epic, then, uh, in nature, then it makes sense. Knock yourself. But that's just a personal preference, then. You know, to each his or her or its own. And I'm lost. Where am I going? Get out of here. Alright, this looks more familiar. I already cleaned a lot of this out. Yep, yep, yep. I think I know where I'm at now. Sure if I'm getting a frame rate jitter here or what. No, frame rate looks good. Well, I've got a new mouse. He might be messing with my visions. 
Maybe. I'm going to a dead end, aren't I? Yet another reason to, uh, to clean this up. So that I know where the hell I am. Because... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes. Oh, I think I got it now. Creepy cave noises. Water that way. Down. Yeah, yep. There we go. Jump, jump. All right. Nice sunny day outside, is it? Yes. Anytime I hear walking, it makes me nervous. Oh, it's just a chicken. Especially if it's walking with a purpose, because... Oh, I must have come this way a little bit. Hey! There's <laughs> like one skeleton. It's like the drive through window for pain. May I take your order? Come on. Seriously? You just oh. Can I hear something else? And this place is not lit up. Oh, Well, I am going this way now. And it's a dead end. I don't think that creeper saw me. I think I'm okay. Just inconspicuously gather this iron. And he'll never know I was here. He saw me. Ow. All right. One. Two. Three. Follow me. No, that is not what I had in mind. Oh, I was trying to get the skeleton to heal the to kill the creeper. Hey, expose some iron. How about that guy? So I get some more records because I believe in this update you can attain all of the records and not just the two you could get before. I think there's like 13 of them or something. So I was hoping to see some of that, but I guess these jerks have just decided not to cooperate. That's fine. I There's many of them now. How about them? Bring your friend. This is a little close to home. Let's... Let's put some lights in here, shall we? Shall we drop a light in here, too? 
All right. Well, that's all well and good for now. Let us head back down to the lair. How much iron do I got? Do I have? It's Twenty, two, three, four. Nice even number. And yeah, no, I'll make it uneven. I always find myself trying to get the uh, materials and nice uh, even. Hey, the tree grew. Nice even numbers. Even uh, multiples of eight so that I can cook them with the coal more easily, but that's fine. Two sticks and uh, three. Two, three, coal. Alright, so I got, I got 12 gold here and got 25 iron. Some lapis lazuli, some gunpowder, a diamond. Six arrows. That's just not enough. Under pearls. This is alright. I got a tree here now. How about that? Well, over this tree is kind of small. I mean, that's about as big as you're going to get in this height. But uh, I was thinking maybe I'd open this up top and just grow trees on trees and make one crazy giant tree coming up out of here. Still, still not quite. I've been finishing this area not as, uh, I can release two, get move these out of here, but not as, like, the main entrance area, um, just as a nice, peaceful place to come hang out. Bed probably down in there somewhere, so. I have plans, I have aspirations. I simply need to start working on them. Let's go check it out. I actually died out here a couple times last time. Thought I could uh, drop out here and go toe to toe with a fistful of skeletons. I was wrong. Um, oh, that's new. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I started digging this area out here, and this is about the size I would have open up, and the tree would be right here, it's in the middle, so I had to grow up and kind of clean this out. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, I had heard about this. I had not seen it for myself yet. Um, one thing the update did in uh, in terms of uh, adjusting biomes and biome generation was that some of your biomes have now changed slightly. And I don't recall this being a snow area before. In fact, I think it's pretty safe to say that it wasn't because of this patchy snow coverage on the ground that's only generating now. Um, but no, it is. Now this is Winterland. You know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, that's kind of... Hmm, I don't know how well that fits with everything. It's not like there's a desert here. But it's a sudden shift. I've uh, got some beach over there. I guess it just depends on how big it is. That's kind of kind of nuts. You know, I I don't know what's so strange about that to me. Maybe it's because I was here and this wasn't snow. Now it is. Um, I mean, I've seen several times before the rain directly, you know, inter intersects with the snow. Well, this is... Yeah. I mean, that's what a weird cutoff that is. 
Um, yeah, strange. Anyway, that means I can come back here and get all the snow I want to build my uh, army of snowmen. Or just make a bunch of snow blocks. Build a million igloos. Build an igloo castle. It's also uh, nice to have uh, ice blocks forming so nearby because once I start playing around with the uh, enchantments, once I get the uh, experience uh, farms up and running with the skeleton spawners down there and uh, start uh, start enchanting things, um, one thing I try to get is, uh, what is it, Silk Touch? And a Silk Touch enchantment allows the tool to uh, harvest blocks that you normally couldn't harvest um, typically that would be ore blocks, so that when you break a uh, coal ore block, um, instead of getting uh, coal, you would get a coal ore block. Um, and that also will enable you to pick up uh, ice blocks. And then, unless they've changed something, you can take those ice blocks into the nether uh, and place them down and actually you can get water in the nether. And the reason that uh, the, the actual programmed in mechanic that makes water from a bucket evaporate is part of the bucket. It has nothing to do with the water. Um, so if you hacked in uh, a water source block into your inventory or ice and brought that in, you could um, you could get that. Why are you in my house? How did you get in my house? I will kill you. Oh! Yeah. Something else I noticed when I was playing the other day that scared the crap out of me. When I walked outside in the rain and uh, Endermen take damage from water. And they teleport when they take damage from water. And the idea is that if they accidentally walk into a, uh, a river, they'll pop out, right? Well, rain damages them as well. So when Enderman gets caught in the rain, they just kind of zip all over the place. And while you're standing there, you'll just hear this Doppler screaming all around you. And it's it's quite horrifying. You can only imagine that he was up there, and he got hit with the rain, and teleported down here. I have no idea where he went to now. I hope wherever he went, he stays there. I don't want an Enderman all up in my house. Moving blocks. Get out of my... Where did you go? They are going to wreck my stuff. Well, there you are, you piece of garbage. I knew that wouldn't work, but at least it got him away from there. These guys are just everywhere. Come and get it. Yep. Mm hmm. You don't say. I do so loathe them. Not as much as creepers, uh, but honestly, it's pretty close. Creepers will blow your stuff up and kill you dead. And they sneak and creep and don't make any noise, and that's, uh, that's horrible. I hate them. But I also hate dudes that pick up my walls and steal them. And I hate these guys because they're just teleporting right inside. I got no defense against them. The only thing I could do is make everything two blocks tall, and then, I mean, crap. Like terrorists. That's, that's exactly what they are. They're angry at me for my freedom of ceiling, right? They don't like this free open space. They would prefer if I was imprisoned in two block tall corridors. I just won't do it. I won't I would sooner die nightly by Enderman than have to live under the oppression of of a two block ceiling and I can't land on this damn ladder this was the worst idea I've ever had what the hell was I thinking and there's a spider 